now we can go ahead and begin defining our map base. Uh, this will be at where our actual map is uh, either drawn into the game or, in the case of these tutorials, uh, created manually. So I'm going to go ahead and save our changes to our tile class here. Um, first thing we'll do is um, create a tile list. Uh, this will actually hold the values for our map. Uh, so we're going to say public tile list and give it a couple of uh, um, basically this is just going to be an XY array. So these parameters here represent the uh, height and width of, of that array of tiles. So we're going to say as tile. Okay. So um, let's see here. Creating our map class, we want a new sub. So we'll say public sub new. And we can use uh, some parameters to define our new map. So we'll say, well, width as an integer and height as an integer. And you may want to pass a startup position. Uh, where does your character start on that map? Uh, so we'll just say start as a vector 2. Okay. So we have our width, our height, and our startup coordinates. Um, we set this uh, array as a publicly accessible array for our map class. Uh, so when we create a new object, we actually have to uh, redefine that. So what we'll do is we'll use a redim and then recreate our uh, tile list class. with our width and height that are passed from this from our new parameters up here. So we just created a new map base and then we defined uh, redefined the tile list. We want that to be dynamic because uh, not every map is going to have the same um, structure or size and width so, uh, height and width sorry. And this is where, you know, we will be creating a temporary map. And I'm not going to get into that just yet, but we will uh, in this uh, segment do that. So um, probably end up creating something like a simple island in the ocean um, for that. And there's going to be one other sub that we need to create. Uh, it's actually going to be a function to grab the source of our tile. And again, we're only using this because we have to do this manually instead of passing these values, uh, instead of passing our tile values to each tile from a map editor file or something like that, uh, which will ultimately be what you want to use uh, to create a, a large map. Uh, so we're just going to do a private function here. And I'm going to call this get tile source. And I'm just going to bring in uh, the values of each tile by its type. So I'm going to say t type as tile type. <clears throat> um, oops, I want to return the value as a rectangle. Okay, so essentially we're going to be looking at a tile set using a rectangle to grab a specific tile off that tile set and that's the tile we will return to our map base. So I'm going to dim s rect or source rectangle as a rectangle and that's what that's the value that we will return. So 
Uh, here I'm just going to do a select case um, T type or tile type. And then I can say case uh, tile type grass, for example. Then the source rectangle will be something case uh, water. case tile type um, is a mountain or a foothill. I'm go ahead and do both here. I'll start with foothills, case tile type, mountain. All right, so then we have to grab the coordinates of each of those off of our uh, tile set. Now, before I can actually start uh, giving these uh, source rectangle values, I have to have a graphic to pull those from. So what I'm going to do is come down to my uh, graphics and I'm going to create a subfolder there and call this one world graphics. So just graphics and world. Um, I have a selected tile set that I'll be using for this tutorial. Um, this little PNG file. Uh, use this. I think I might have used this before, but it's just sort of a, a partially completed tile set that I created myself, and uh, you're all welcome to use it, or you can use your own tile sets. Uh, these are all. I think these are all 16 by 16. So um, use whatever you want there for yours. What I'm going to do here is, uh, oops, sorry, grab that graphic and just uh, drag it into my graphics folder here into the world section. So I have my tile set there. Um, and now we need to actually call this in our globals. We have to load these graphics. So I'm going to go into my globals textures and bring it in here. I'm going to say public shared world. Uh, you can do world one, world two, you know, however many tile sets you want to use in your game. Uh, it's up to you. So I'm going to say texture 2D is the type of object we're bringing in here. So uh, here I'll do world equals globals dot content dot load of texture 2d and then we have to define our asset um, the path to that is going to be gfx world and then the name of the png file is tile set so we should be able to use that now. Okay, now I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and bring that up in our program here. So we're going to be grabbing our source rectangles from here. You know, uh, if you recall how to do this, uh, each, you know, we have to look at the X and Y position of each tile and also the size of that tile. So, for example, this is going to be 0, 0, as always is the top left corner, and it's going to go out 16. So this will be uh, x16, y0. So this would be x16, y16, going down 16 pixels. So we can go back to our um, map base here into our get tile source and for grass as we saw that was um, the source rectangle s rect is going to be a new rectangle starting at the top left corner of our um, tile set and that was uh, 16 over and 16 I'm sorry, not 16. <laughs> That's the height and width. The width is 16 pixels by 16 pixels. So, um, 
our water tile, I believe, uh, is going to be, oops, what's our tile set here? Bring that back up. Um, looks like uh, the water graphic is going to be 0 and 80. Uh, I'm going to be using these ones down here. You can actually see the coordinates down here, so that's kind of handy. So 080, I'm going to be grabbing this tile here. Equals new rectangle. Zero. 80 down. These are also 16 by 16 tiles. And uh, for our foothills, um, s rect equals new rectangle 48, 0, 16, 16. Sorry, I'm just doing these from memory now. Uh, this one, I do not remember so much. Do S rect equals new rectangle. I'm going back to my tile set. I do not know why that is invisible there. And I have to find my mountain here. There it is. Caves and mountains. Looks like it's going to be uh, x32 by y0. x32 by y0. 16, 16. Alright, so that'll give us a small uh, palette to work with there. I'm going to go ahead and save my work. And then we will uh, begin working on our world screen.